A roadside bomb has killed at least 18 civilians in Somalia. The explosion happened in Lafola, town of the southwest of the capital, Mogadishu. The roadside bomb blew up a packed minibus that was passing by. The bus was being escorted by another vehicle which was carrying Somali soldiers. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but Al-Shabaab militants have frequently launched attacks against security forces. Well, let's get more on this story now from Fidelis Umba, who joins me now in the studio. Fidelis, firstly, this, this news has only just uh, happened. What, what more can you tell us on that? Well, the, uh, the reports we, we're getting is that uh, the, the target was actually uh, the, a military vehicle that was carrying some troops that were, you know, driving along the major way. Uh, unfortunately, the minibus was actually just close to the military bus when the bomb went off. This mm. was, the bomb was remotely controlled. Nobody actually knows those who carried it out, but it bore all the hallmarks of um, Al-Shabaab attacks because such, uh, such attacks have been carried out in the past. In fact, um, just in, this, uh, in June alone, there have been two major attacks. Just last Saturday, you know, there was an attack which killed 15 people, including the Somalia um, Minister for Env the Environment, who had come back from uh, Canada to take up his appointment. And uh, on, on the 1st of June, 16 people were killed at another hotel during an attack and about, uh, uh, about 55 people wounded. Well, as you say, you, you've listed off several attacks there that have happened in, in recent months. Does this mean that uh, terror groups within Somalia are gathering momentum? Well, uh, for some time now, the, um, the, uh, the African Union mission in Somalia, which is the AMISOM, they've been scaling down the operations by, you know, some of their some of the places where they had camps, they've closed them down because after the last year's attack on Kenyan forces, which uh, you know, killed about uh, 100 uh, Kenyan forces, the, the Kenyan uh, government withdrew some of their troops. So the, uh, the African Union troops couldn't maintain some of the camps. They withdrew. And Al-Shabaab is gradually uh, more like uh, gaining grounds again, and, which is why they've stepped up attacks, uh, not just the... Uh, uh, in the southern part, across the country, they've been stepping up attacks. And this is coming barely, you know, uh, two months to the elections because elections are scheduled for August and September. And there are fears that these attacks might even increase because of uh, the struggle for political uh, positions. Concerning times indeed. Fidel Sumba, thank you.